there, it's D-Day people, this is your road trip, United stand, I'm Adam Matic and today is United versus Liverpool. We said it on the show last night, me and Kev, it does not get any bigger, it does not get any more important for either set of fans, manager, coaching set up, players, whoever it is on the opposite side to each other, it is the biggest game of the season. Added to that, that today is the first time since Covid, United have played Liverpool with fans back in the stadium. Added to that, it's been a complete role reverse from the last time that we played Liverpool. And this is where a lot of United fans are looking at this game going, well, we finished above Liverpool last season. How come we can be so far behind Liverpool now? And Solskjaer talked and talked and talked about the fans being back in the stadium for these big games. Last season we really struggled against the big teams. Well, this is where the fans are at now and this is where United now need to put their foot down. This is where United need to catch up and make up some ground. Fans are back, fans will be behind United today. Unlike what a lot of people have been talking about. Again, we spoke about it last night, the McTominay interview and the way the club are sort of betraying the fans at the moment. It's a lot of crap. The fans are behind the club, they are behind the team. Well, not so much behind the club and what it stands for and how it's actually running itself. But in terms of the team, when they're out on the pitch, they get the best support ever. I've been to every single game this season and what's been said and what's been used as an excuse already this week is an absolute load of crap because the fans are behind the team, 100% behind the team. They'll be behind the team more than ever today. Just because people talk after the game, which people do every single week, about what went wrong and how bad it was and how this was probably not the right decision and whatnot. This is just normal life. Because it's been highlighted now because we're doing so crap doesn't mean that you can use that as an excuse as to why things are going wrong right now. Everyone's negative against United. Oh, boo-hoo. Shut up and get on with it, for God's sake. Anyway, United-Liverpool is that type of game. Shut up. Get out on that pitch and prove that you are good enough and I've got what it takes to wear that Manchester United shirt because there's no room for hiding today. There's no room for hiding for any one of them players today. If they don't turn up today, they will be smashed off the park. We know that. We spoke about that. Liverpool are in a much better place, a much settled team. Everything is running like clockwork at that football club right now, on and off the pitch. Well, maybe not so much off it in terms of what they've spent a lot of Liverpool fans will moan and complain about how much has been spent or lack of what's been spent where still they're developing the stadium the infrastructure it's all being run properly whereas at United we're hearing we're hearing things but nothing ever gets put into motion we hear all oh we're going to be building up the infrastructure the surrounding area and Old Trafford the training ground improvements this and that we spent all this money on players this summer, yeah, that's all been recouped now by the Glazers, so it doesn't really matter in terms of how much they've actually spent, because they've spent jack shit, as always. But this is where the two clubs are at at the moment. Liverpool on the pitch, absolutely superb. Yeah, they can have the complaints off it, but whatever happens on the pitch covers up absolutely everything that's going on off it. It does. The only way that anyone forgets or starts talking positively about a team, a club, is when it's going right on the pitch. That is exactly where Liverpool are at right now. And it is all coming together. This is a massive game today. This is a chance for United. If we can play like we played in the second half against Atalanta, then we can beat Liverpool. 100% we can beat Liverpool. We can beat any team in the world on our day with the players that we've got. It's about how we implement ourselves and how we go at this game. There is absolutely zero excuse for not going out and playing the exact way that we did against Atalanta. The fact that it took uh, an absolute disaster of a first half, and it was a disaster. I'm not having this crap Solskjaer, Bruno, McTominay in their interviews saying I don't understand what people were thinking and saying about this uh, first half against Atalanta, that it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Man, well, yeah, okay, let's just leave that one there. It was, simple as that. And it took that to get a reaction out of these players. That in, its, that in itself is pathetic. The fact that it took such a disaster of a first half for us to actually start coming out and playing. But that is becoming a common occurrence right now. So now you're looking at this, you're going, right, okay. How do we get 
that attitude, that determination at the start of a game. How can we start a game that way? Because we don't and we haven't all season. We haven't. And anyone who tries to argue that point is deluded. I will say that word, strong word, yeah. But you cannot argue that point. United have been poor at the start of nearly enough every game this season. We haven't set off well at all in any game. There's been the odd one where you might have thought yeah, it was a bit more promising, but nothing on a scale that United fans were expecting for this season. The only time we actually played well and probably played to our potential, you would argue, was Leeds. I'm still not having the Newcastle one. That wasn't. And then in that second half against Atalanta, I seen something. I seen a reaction from the players that, you know, I want to play for this football club. I am good enough to play for this football club. And we started taking risks. We started, we started making self-sacrifices. That's how I put it across in the show last night. And what I mean by that is, these players are playing scared at the moment and they're under massive, massive pressure. They are. So when that comes around, players don't take risks. Players don't come out of their comfort zone. And we're seeing that because we're not creating anything. The only way you create chances, the only way you change your momentum in a game is when you start taking risks. When you start playing out of yourself, you start sacrificing. Like Cristiano Ronaldo said in his interview, you have to sacrifice yourself to win team honours. You have to take that chance. You may be, as a Luke Shaw or Juan Bazaka, have to go to the byline, have to overlap your winger and sacrifice that space behind you in the knowledge that you could get caught on the break. This is what makes and breaks winning teams. Liverpool do this at will. Their fullbacks bomb on at will. And yeah, like Klopp says, he is all too willing to accept the flaws of a Trent Alexander-Arnold's defensive qualities because of what he brings going forward, playing to Liverpool's strengths. That's what we don't have. That's what we don't have in this Manchester United team. It's too safe and everybody's afraid of taking the criticism that's coming their way if they're the one that makes the mistake. Scott McTominay's interview was prime for that. Scott McTominay has been shocking. Shocking this season. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat it in any way, shape or form. Scott McTominay has been poor this season. He's better than that. I know he's better than that, at least better than the way he's been playing. But for him to come out in that interview and say, look, everyone is always willing to be negative against Manchester United. Comes with the territory, mate. Deal with it. Start playing football. Start winning football games. You know what I mean? Start being able to have the courage to take the ball on and do something different with it instead of just making the easy option. That's what this football club's about. And that's what Manchester United need to be doing going forward. Manchester United need to be competing at the top table. Look at what's happening already this season. You look at the table right now and where we're at. We could be about eighth by the end of today if this doesn't go well. Or we could be back in the top four, a couple of points behind Liverpool, who, like I said, are pulling up trees. You look at it a quarter of the way through the season. That's not too bad a position to be in. Too bad. Not too bad. Five points behind Chelsea, I think maybe four, I think it is behind City, two behind Liverpool. You're in the mix, pretty much. You're not out of touch. You're not too far away. If you get beat by Liverpool today, then we're in a bit of trouble in terms of how the table looks. I'm not going to go too deep into that. We can maybe analyse that, how we move forward. But the table only really reflects how bad we have been before these big games. And that's the issue I've got today is Liverpool. Today anything can happen. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to go all in on a bad result today unless it's catastrophic and we play, like I said, with fear. Any team in this league can get beat by Liverpool. So the result, sort of in a way, is secondary to the performance today, I think, for me. I'm going to go into this game and say, look, if we get beat by Liverpool, but you know what? We play to our strengths. Liverpool are slightly better mentally and uh, what's the word I'm looking for conditionally and the way they play they're more comfortable with it they're just at a better level than us right now in terms of form and stuff and we lose to a team like that today but it's been a great game and we've played and tried to play to our strengths with no fear then fair enough can happen it can happen that uh, I won't have a big deal out big big deal with that I will gladly go on the fan vlog afterwards 
and say that I will say look we lost today we lost to the better team but this team actually performed today the issue I've got with the league table only comes up from the eight games that we've already played that's where I've got a real issue with it and that's where that table is going to reflect if we do get a bad result today that's where it's going to reflect more for me personally I'm not looking at Liverpool today saying oh another defeat it's this amount of wins in this amount of games Liverpool is one of the best teams in the world at the moment it, hits me. it pains me to say it but the facts they are the facts and Liverpool today is one of them chances for United to go how good are we can we perform today get the result or even the performance and then use that to go forward and play the same way in the other games why do United lower their standards to the level of every team that they're playing Liverpool, Chelsea and City don't do this and that's why they are ahead of us they play their game every single week and yet yeah, you have to adapt it for some of the bigger games maybe this is where it suits all in it as before or well, at least we thought that but last season we failed in these big games so I mean this is where it needs to this is where it needs to flip from what it was last season we beat all the crap teams last season that's what put us up in second but we were garbage against all the better teams so we have to put that right today but like I said I'm looking at that table and everyone is going to criticize that table we'll be judging the table a quarter of the way through the season later when the game's finished and it won't look good but I'm not going to put it all down to today I'm analyzing today I'm analyzing United against Liverpool and this game can go either way your Liverpool fans will tell you exactly the same this game can go either way today and it's about our commitment to how we want to play can we play the intensity that we played against Atalanta for 90 minutes why has it taken us to go 2-0 down at half time like I said to even bring that out of us this season but on Wednesday night we've seen the strengths of this team we've seen what this team is about Ronaldo's already talking about how he fits in how the system has to change if he plays He's calling it out. He's saying to Oli Solskjaer and this team, can you adapt? Because if you give me the chance, I will win trophies alongside this team if we play the way that I have to play in terms of what he's capable of and what his role in this team is. Like he said, scoring goals. We have to play a certain way. It has to be quicker. The balls have to be earlier. We have to get crosses. We have to mix it up. This slow lethargic play is not going to work against Liverpool. The only way I see us getting anything today is going toe to toe with Liverpool. And it's a scary thought, yeah, and people are saying, oh, Adam, it's a risky one. Well, we've had one clean sheet in 20 games, people. If we try and hold out against Liverpool, we're going to get beat and it's going to be embarrassing. I'd rather go down swinging. That's what I say. And people are, that's old school, Adam. There's no tactics or stuff. Well, there is tactics in it. Play to your strength. Play with. <sighs> play with that intensity that brings that football that we've seen chance after chance after chance being created against Atalanta yeah it's only Atalanta but it was only Aston Villa it was only Everton it was only Southampton and Wolves and we couldn't do that against them but we did against Atalanta because we played that way that is where United are dangerous that's where United are going to get the result if there is a result for us here today I believe there is I've gone 3-2 either way I'm bordering more on Liverpool taking it because of where they are and like I said performance is massive for me today I want to see something from these players I want to see what they've got I want to see if they've got any character I could go on for ages about this game I'll save some for after the game as well people let me know what you think I am buzzing I am pumped it is still early but I can't wait to get to Old Trafford and get this on. I'm so intrigued how this game is going to go down. Guys, drop your comments in below. How confident are you? Are you up for this? Whew, here we go. This is United v Liverpool. Guys, subscribe to United Stand. I will catch you after the game. Come over and chat if you want as well. Get on and get your say on the fan vlogs after the game. This is going to be a massive, massive day. People, it's time to head. Bye-bye.